Today, I'm diving into the world of earwax removal to see just how much I can get out for science. I've always been fascinated by the mysterious world of earwax and what lies beneath it, so I decided to take matters into my own hands and get to the bottom of it, literally. What prompted me to tackle this topic is the sheer curiosity about what's going on in our ear canals and how it affects our daily lives. The thing is, most people have a bunch of misconceptions about earwax. One common myth is that earwax is just dirt and debris that accumulates in our ears, but in reality, it's a natural defense mechanism that protects our ear canals from external invaders like bacteria, fungi, and even insects. Another misconception is that earwax is just a minor nuisance, but it can actually cause some serious problems if it builds up excessively. Excessive earwax buildup can lead to hearing loss, ear infections, and even affect our balance and posture. I mean, who knew earwax could have such a significant impact on our overall health? But what really gets me is when people try to remove earwax using cotton swabs, a big no-no, by the way. This can push the wax further into the ear canal, causing more harm than good. And don't even get me started on ear candles, which are basically just a scam. The idea that ear candles can suck out earwax is just a myth with no scientific basis whatsoever. It's amazing how many people fall for it, though. In reality, earwax removal requires a bit more finesse and the right tools for the job. So, what are the right tools for the job, you ask? Well, I'm about to find out. I've got my trusty ear cleaning kit, complete with the ear scope, ear syringe, and some special earwax removal drops. I've also got some cotton balls and olive oil, just in case things get a bit messy. I've been warned that the process can be a bit uncomfortable, but hey, it's all in the name of science, right? As I began the removal process, I was struck by just how much ear wax I was able to extract. It was like a never-ending supply of sticky, gooey goodness. I mean, who knew my ears were hiding so much treasure? But the real kicker was when I discovered a massive chunk of ear wax that had been stuck in my ear canal for God knows how long. It was like a small rock formation, just sitting there, oblivious to the world around it. I was both grossed out and fascinated at the same time. But the most dramatic moment came when I finally managed to dislodge the massive chunk of ear wax from my ear canal. It was like a mini celebration, right there in my bathroom. The feeling of relief was immense, and I couldn't help but wonder what other secrets my ears were hiding. It was definitely a surreal experience, but one that I won't soon forget. So, what did I learn from this experiment? For one, earwax is way more important than we give it credit for. It's not just some pesky substance that accumulates in our ears, it's a vital part of our body's defense mechanism. And two, earwax removal is not something to be taken lightly. It requires patience, the right tools, and a bit of finesse. But the payoff is well worth it, literally, in my case. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride of earwax removal. If you've got any thoughts or experiences you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more science-related experiments and explorations. Until next time, stay curious and keep on learning.